All right, Michael Van Runkle here with HotCars.com. I'm here in Washington, D.C. to cover the CF Charity Supercar Show, which is put on every year by Dr. Larry Kaplan, the guy who set the world record in his SSC Tuatara, the fastest two-way run ever. Some of you might be saying, wait a second, isn't that in Philadelphia? You're not wrong. I'm here in D.C. because I'm going to be driving up to Philadelphia today with the Fueling Bright Futures Supercar Rally. I flew out of LA yesterday, it was cold and rainy, got to DC, it was a little sunny when I landed at the airport, and by the time I got to downtown, it was hot and rainy. Tried to do some tourist stuff, go look at all of the monuments, but it was thunderstorming. But it does raise an interesting question, because all of these people and their million dollar supercars, how are they gonna drive today if it's supposed to keep raining, which the forecast says it will. The two Atari did get flipped over in a trailer a while ago, so I'll be also curious to see whether that shows up. And then he's got plenty of Ferraris and Lamborghinis, a couple Ford GT40s, at least another SSC, the Ultimate Aero. I'm stoked, can't wait to get this journey started. But in the meantime, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. Thanks. <laughs>
we got up to the fastest I've ever been on a public road. And we were in traffic, so that's a little gnarly. It's all been super loosey-goosey so far, just trying to get me here with the Fueling Bright Futures Supercar Rally from DC to Philadelphia. The evening's festivities included an informal dinner and a live jazz performance by House of Bethel, a band led by Patriots football player Justin Bethel. Then, for me, it was off to an early bedtime. All right, it's another morning. Woke up bright and early as the sun came up over the Delaware River. As crazy as yesterday was with the supercar rally and things got a little bit more fun overnight. Today will be more about the cars themselves. We're gonna close down the streets of Philadelphia and blast around in street legal and street illegal race cars. I'm looking forward to it. I got my press pass and I need some more coffee. Getting a bunch of supercar owners out the door bright and early is just like herding cats. We pulled out, out of the parking garage, but it took a while to get everyone ready and situated. It gave us a good opportunity to get some nice sunlit, bright morning shots of these crazy cars. But we also had to kind of move quickly because we had to get to the actual event. By the time we got to the staging point for the morning rally with CF Charities, there was a huge line of cars. Everyone was sort of just waiting, not really sure what was going on. I tried to get up front to watch everyone blast off, led by Dr. Larry Kaplan and his FXXK Evo. There was a Bugatti Veyron, of course, lots of Ferraris, a Porsche Carrera GT. Let's just listen to these things take off. of cars four wide probably 80 or 90 maybe a hundred deep everyone not particularly paying attention but giving themselves a chance to full red line as they took off getting ready to cruise through the streets of Philadelphia with a police escort I climbed into Anton Barnes of the brand architects Dodge Charger Hellcat which is tuned you can hear the supercharger whine every time it revs up the exhaust is absurd. It's so loud we almost use it as an alarm clock this morning. But sadly, every time we felt like we were about to get going, we would just come to a stop at a red light. I was yelling out the window to everyone, don't stop at red lights, but the police just didn't do their job. None of the roads were closed off, and we just kept getting caught in traffic by pedestrians, by cyclists, as we approached City Hall in Philadelphia. It was fun to hear all the different cars revving up as high as they could, even if they weren't going too fast. Corvettes, Porsches, Mustangs generally tended to be the loudest offenders. Every now and then someone on the street would give us a cheer and a thumbs up as we blasted on by. Eventually, in a group text message, everyone was just saying it was a complete mess. We just decided to head back and park the Hellcat for the main event, the charity supercar show. Well, this morning was a bit of a cluster. It was supposed to be this rally through the streets of Philadelphia. All the streets were supposed to be closed, running red lights, blocking off the streets with cops, with a police escort out on the 95 going top speed with the freeway closed. And instead, none of that happened. We uh, were stuck in traffic for most of it and basically went like five miles an hour average. Didn't get to a photo shoot like we were supposed to up near the Rocky Steps. and. <laughs> basically had fun because we ran like four red lights. But now the event is really starting to fill up. Highlights included a Koenigsegg, a Gera, a Pagani, two separate Ferrari F40s, two separate Jaguar XJ220s, and of course the Bugatti Veyron. We had a little celebrity appearance from Rob Ferretti in his Supra. I was excited to get to see all of Dr. Kaplan's cars and hear him explain how this all got started. Apparently, about 10 years ago, it all started with the SSC Ultimate Era. 
In 2012, I bought the SSC Ultimate Era, and that was the first exotic car I ever owned. And people started calling me because there were only three in the United States. The other two were parked somewhere. I realized that I could utilize it to raise money for charity, and that launched the very first car show. CF Charities, we founded a little over 10 years ago, and the mission was to help kids find a path into healthcare as a career. That evolved into building programs in schools where kids are trained as dental assistants, pharmacy techs, med techs, and then also getting care to kids who didn't have access to care, so actually providing care for them, providing scholarships for them, then mentorship programs, and really just sort of being a champion for them and finding support so that they can see that that path is actually possible. Because most of these kids never thought that they could go into healthcare as a profession. It wasn't on their radar. And then once they realized that that was a realistic expectation for them, then their entire future changed. Because then they decided, wait, I can do this. And that's what this whole thing is about. It just sort of be that champion for them. That's how the charity evolved. At a meet like this, I always make sure to check the overflow lots and where the guests have parked, just in case there's any cool cars that didn't show up and get access. Well, it's starting to clear out. It's about noon, I think. This was supposed to go until two o'clock, but it's like 95 degrees out and really hot. Everyone started getting in their cars and turning on the air conditioning just to get away from the heat. And then there's gas concerns because all these cars have a terrible fuel economy. A lot of kids were super stoked to just be seeing all the sweet cars that they see on the internet in person. And of course, everyone as they leave is doing crazy burnouts, revving their engines super high right on the way out the door. As the crowd thinned out and the temperatures kept rising, Eventually, it became time to load everything up, and Dr. Kaplan actually did a lot of the loading himself. He drove the Ford GT, the SSC Ultimate Aero, and the Mosler up into the trucks, though the FXXK Evo just gets pulled up with a cable and a winch. Meanwhile, Dr. Kaplan told me that even though they skipped the gala this year due to coronavirus concerns, this year's CF Charity Supercar Show raised more money than any other year by a long shot. Well, the crowd's thinned out, the cars have thinned out. I'm headed home. It's about 95 degrees out still and humid. There's some sports games apparently starting, so I wanna get out of here before the traffic gets too crazy, headed back to the hotel. It was an awesome day. Saw some of the world's most incredible cars. Wish I'd gotten more of a chance to get out there and see them going 200 miles an hour. For now, I'm just gonna start a long journey home Wearing the mask in the COVID era, but I'm so glad I made it out here. Big thank you to CF Charities Supercar Show and to Anton Barnes of the Brand Architects for shipping me out here to do all this and drive up from DC. It's been a huge blast. Thank you for watching. And as always, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. It makes a huge difference for us. Thanks.